Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a blue, green, and yellow gradient using that Lena Make Your Mark 03 plate. I started off with Peel Ease as my base coat, and I'll be using this Bitsy Flawless, just a white cream polish that I got at Sally's. And here is the Lena Make Your Mark 03 plate. And then I'll be using the Princessa polishes, the blue and the yellow, Epic Yellow. And then the blue one is D Dive in Blue. And I'll be using my Starry Night Scra Stamper from AliExpress and my Clear Jelly Scraper today. Now, I have not played with this much, so I'm not really proficient at using this plate on this empty space, you know, stamping on it. Um, but we're going to get there one day. You've got to be real careful because it's big, big open space. And I'm just going to, you know, be plopping this on my nails. Plopping it on there just like we do. Um, I know that when you do use these open image areas like this to do your base, you got to be real careful doing that scraping. And I'm, I'm still learning. And I can't, I wasn't able to get the colors as blended as I wanted to, but, uh, you know, I just want to show you guys as I learn, because maybe you might learn something for this or have already learned and can give me some tips. <laughs> I will take those too. But I really do like this, and I've seen a lot of people use that, like, if they're doing, like, a white nail under their base for some nail art, they do this a lot. They use this image and, you know, just stamp the whole polish onto the nail, and I really like that. One day I will get, you know, better at it. And this part, I probably could have cut some of this out, me just doing the same thing over and over. But I did all the nails, and then I'm going to go back over them and do them, do them twice, just to help build up that color and make it pop a little bit. And hopefully maybe even it out some. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but I really was looking for something bright and, you know, getting away from, you know, doing the same thing all the time. Because I am a stamper. I love to stamp. Um, to me, it's easy nail art, but uh, this this is a little little different. So, I mean, it's still stamping, but it's different stamping. And I will be stamping some images on these nails after I get this gradient done. Now, as you can tell, that's a little messy looking, but it's all going to be good after we top coat it and do some stamping over it. I've seen the finished product, and I was really happy with it, so... <laughs> We'll, um, we'll have to get your opinions at the end and see what you guys think of this. But I also like showing you guys when I'm trying something new and the struggles I have with it or that it doesn't just turn out perfectly. Because all of my manicures do not turn out perfectly. Um, I have found ways to make them look better or be passable, you know, on a lot of them. And, you know, we're all learning together and we all share ideas and tricks and tips that we pick up along the way. And that's one of the things I love most about this. So now I'm using that same plate and I'm going to pull two images off this plate. This image has um, gone on all of my nails except for my ring finger. And I really liked it. I thought it looked great over this gradient with that black. It just pops. And I'm putting that one on all of my nails except for that ring finger, like I said. I'm going to use another image on this plate for that one. Just to kind of break it up a little bit, you know. And on these stampers, as you can see, I like to hold my nail upside down and just push down into the image where I want it. Um, these stampers are great for, you know, full coverage if you're covering a whole nail with something and you're not too concerned about placement. This stamper is one of my favorites because it's so sticky. It picks up any image that I'm struggling with, and it's just a matter of placement. That's the only issue I have with this. It's not clear. I can't see through it. Some of that nature of the beast stuff. And now I'm moving over to this other image over in the corner. It's still a flowery looking design, but it, I thought it went well with the other image that I used. So there we go. Um, I'm having a little struggle with this uh, liquid latex. I don't know why. I've never had this much trouble getting this stuff off before. Maybe I was just having one of them days. And then I'm going to go in with my piece of tape and get up some of that dried polish that's just hanging on there. And then we'll do our regular cleanup. 
But I love this little tape trick. I just use it all the time for all sorts of cleanup. So there we go. One more little piece. Just love it, love it. And here we go. I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk's Kesh Tools number 27 brush and some acetone. And just do a little bit of tidying up there. I love, love, love this one. And you can see that little bit of green line from the yellow and the blue mixing. It's, it's just not as wide as I wanted it to be. But this is my long nail hand. So there we go. And I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat today. It's my favorite for stamping because I can glide it over without smear and stuff. And you can see I went over that one more than once or twice and I didn't smear it. So that's that's part of my love affair with the posh top coat. You just get used to using whatever you're used to using. There we go. I'm capping that end. So, oh, Woody, look, look. Surprise visit from Woody. Yay. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this one. Here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about my Manny. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.